Not yet. You know, um, I think I saw an interview with Amanda, Amanda Nunes said it best. I mean, she said that, you know, the UFC can make anyone really a star. You know, it's just they have to believe in you and put that time and effort and money into you to know that it's going to pay dividends. And so, you know, not yet. I think, uh, you know, when I get back in, inside the cage, uh, I just have to show them that, hey, you know, I said what I wanted and I can prove that. And so, you know, it's show and prove. That's how the game goes. Because when I go into a fight, I want to make sure that no stones left unturned, that I'm capable of winning that fight. You know, I don't want to go in there and say, well, I hope I get a lucky knockout that's going to be a highlight reel. You know, I go in there prepared to win, and that's the most important thing for me is, is winning. And so, you know, yeah, the promotion, sometimes I feel like, hey, you, uh, you're not that exciting. We want someone who's going to be doing crazy spinning stuff, you know, the highlight reel stuff. You know, but at the end of the day, you lose two or three in a row your job's in jeopardy. And so my biggest, you know, motivation, my biggest concern is to go in there and win. But of course, you know, now I want to definitely entertain the masses because I have the ability to do that. So I have stand up. But when you could just dominate guys by not taking any damage, isn't that what we want to do? You want to take a guy down and beat him up and not take any damage. And so when you're capable of doing that and no one was able to stop me from doing that, I kept doing that. But that doesn't mean I don't have stand up. I have very, very good stand up, which I showed in my last fight. At the end of the day, it's, it's you know, I'm not going to be fake. I'm not a fake person who's going to create something just for the cameras. You know, if the promotion is willing to invest and, re and, and look deep enough into me, they will see that definitely I'm someone who's marketable. I come from humble beginnings. I was a kid from the streets of Nigeria, you know, to where now I'm living a dream that, you know, there's millions of kids that are back home in Nigeria, in, in Cameroon, or, or all the African countries never dream of, you know, we wake up hoping we can get fresh water, walk 15, 10 miles to go get fresh water. You never dream that you're going to be in a country like this, you know, on a stage like this. Um, it's, it's not as big, obviously, because, uh, you know, really the, I would say the only, you know, countries that really have is maybe South Africa. And that's because, you know, South Africa is probably, I would say, one of the closest ones as far as, you know, with the system that it is here. You know, the other countries, I think they're still kind of looked at as third world countries. So I think they don't see a potential gold mine, the money coming from that country. But that, that's, that's false. You know, there's a lot of money in Africa, a lot of money. You know, it just has to take the right individuals to go in there and get the job done. And it takes a lot of trust and uh, belief from the promotion to do that as well. Honestly, for us, nothing changed. And the only change is, is we don't have a big fancy gym that we had anymore. And, you know, some of the guys aren't managed by Glenn anymore. That's the only change. We all still train together. You know, I mean, Black Zillions was not just a name. Black Zillions was the guys that were training there. Rashad Evans, Anthony Johnson, Michael Johnson, myself, Abel Trujillo, you know, Carrington Banks. The list goes on of guys that were training there that made up the Black Zillions. We still train together. You know, the only difference is we don't have a big fancy gym and a, a lot of the guys aren't managed by Glenn anymore. That's the only change. We still have our coaches, Henry Hoof. He's doing his own thing, you know, not with Glenn, but we still train with Henry Hoof. You know, my coach, George, my ground coach, George Santiago, we still I still train with him, you know. So it's just, that's the only change, really.